Welcome to Leveraging Inspiration, the Inspired Patent Podcast. In this episode, we are answering the question of after you generate an image from an AI like ChatGPT, does that image infringe copyright? There are a number of court cases claiming sometimes billions of dollars of damages against the AI companies themselves claiming that some of the images that they are generating are derivative works and covered by the original copyright. The way AI works is it learns from the internet. We're told that it doesn't save that information, but it saves what it learns. We're not sure quite what the difference is at this point. Sometimes the copyright holder thinks that the images it puts out are not transformative new picture, but it's just a new version of their picture. Here's a quick tip that you can try. Before we get started, I want to make it clear that while I'm an attorney, the information on this video, this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only. This is not legal advice. If you follow this, it might or might not help you out. So if you want to find out in your specific case, what kind of risks you're taking, you need to talk to an attorney directly and form an attorney-client relationship. This isn't one. You can go to Google and there's something called Google Image Search. I've shown here the red circles over the camera that you can click on. After you do that, this window pops up and you can upload files, paste a link to something on the internet, or put your image file in here. Any image file format should work. Once you do that, and I've got an example here from a image that I created with ChatGPT that I wanted to check. Does it look similar? Is it possibly a derivative work of something that exists? I ran this search and it gave me a bunch of things that it thought were similar. And I can see some similarities, people in lines. I didn't think I saw anything that looked like this was just a derivative work or just another version. You, you want to just look for similarities. You're going to have to just use your own judgment of, does it look like a version of a prior image? If it does, I recommend not using it or talking to an attorney to get further advice. You still might want to talk to an attorney about your policies and uses and what kind of risks you're taking when you use AI to generate images that you are going to use for marketing or other things. And there is another option there. It, you can click on the find the image source. Now this is gonna search for exact matches. So step one is you click on it. Step two, it you've already got the image in there. It's gonna find exact matches and you're expecting no exact matches. Because of the nature of AI generating, there should not be a, an, an exact match. You can use this where you have an image available to the public. Here's an example. This is clip art from a website. I put this image in and clicked to ask for exact matches and it found a whole bunch. This is only just a few of them. I can look at those and see if it looks like a licensed image that needs to be paid for or whether it's a free image and double check, do I have a license to it? Do I need a license to it? So that's another way you can use Google image search when you are preparing marketing and, and you're asking yourself, do I need to pay a license? Thank you for joining me on this quick tip. You can find more at leveraginginspiration.com. You can search leveraging inspiration patent podcast on your favorite podcasting platform, including all the ones shown here and even a few others. Thank you. I'm Wayne Carroll. And this is Leveraging Inspiration.